Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your Love Forecast Horoscope for your weekly. This is going to be for June 8th to the 14th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerz.com, or check out the description box below. Also, I want to just make note that I'm completely booked for the month of June. However, I am accepting readings for the month of July. So if you're interested, all the information is in the description box below. And if you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second YouTube channel, JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description a box below. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about your day-to-day, -day, your love interest feelings, your block delays and challenges, and your overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, what's going to have my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for June 8th to the 14th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's take a look here. All right, we got the Nine of Swords energy. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles. Possibly dealing with a Taurus or Capricorn energy. We have the Page of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. We have the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Chris energy. We have the Three of Pentacles, and we have the Four of Pentacles. This is going to be your love interest feelings, whoever this is. The blockage is the World card, and the overall energy here. All right, so Cancer, this is going to be June 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th. Feel free, come back, check this out. Let me know how it plays out in your individual situations in the comments below. Yes, guys, I do read my comments, so I do love hearing from you. If the day-to-day -day is confusing at all, just stick with me till the end. I'm going to go over everything, like your love interest feelings, the more extensively on the blockage, and the overall outcome. I'm going to make a very clear cut for you, okay? And if you guys look at this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. So this person just really feels hurt and sad and heartbroken has been crying over you. There is some kind of spiritual connection, some kind of spiritual confirmation here. Something has been coming to light, possibly in a dream also for some of you guys. There's something that is coming to light about this love connection, Ace of Cups energy. Okay, Let's see what this is about. So first of all, what is this world card about? Let's just look at what this world card is about. So. So something has been covering up a situation. There could be far away energy for some of you guys. There could be a connection that's far away, distant, travel involved somehow. Something hasn't been accomplished or something needs to be accomplished. Something's coming full circle. What is this world card about for Cancer when it comes to their romantic love? Like why is the blockage the world card? Cautiousness, okay, losing hope. There's some spiritual signs. Someone's not paying attention to their intuition when it comes to achievement. Abundance of reflection about an opportunity. Okay, too much reflection about an opportunity. Okay, so let's move this away for now. We're going to come back to that in a minute. And let's start off with seeing, okay, what's going to happen on the 8th? So it seems like there is somebody who is deeply distressed. Lots of self-doubt, sleepless nights here with the Nine of Swords energy. What's that about? What's going to have my Cancers from my Love Life for June 8th to the 14th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. About wishful thinking, far away energy. Okay. Again, we see this travel kind of card coming out. What's going to have my Cancer's Romantic Love Life from the 8th to the 14th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So definitely there's this energy of being overwhelmed or attacked here. What's going to have my Cancer's Romantic Love Life June 8th to the 14th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. There's some issues around money and finance here. Okay. I'm worried and concerned about this distance as far away or this travel energy. 
I feel very overwhelmed because of this unbalanced situation when it comes to money and finance. I feel like someone feels attacked because of something around money and finance has caused some kind of worries and concerns about this distance. Okay. So on the ninth, I want to see what happens with this. I want to be patient here. I want to see how things play out. I keep thinking about this, this distant energy, this far away energy, this long waited situation could be a two year wait. I'm really stuck here. I need some advice. Can't say you are the best decision for me when it comes to long term money, family, children, long term, we see the pentacles energy. I don't want to go anywhere. The timing is aligning for you. We see that there's a relationship, a love connection, and we see something is going to happen all of a sudden. Okay. So, so far we can see some issues around money and some devices gotten, which helps someone to make some kind of decision. So page of wands is saying there's some flirting going on here on the 11th, some flirting here and some time being spent together. And there's an opportunity being presented, key card energy. And let's go down the layer here. And renewal of the past, something to do with the past around this. Someone from the past. So we have on the 12th, new perspective, new understanding, concerns about being naive with the Page of Swords energy. Something you've been waiting for is gonna happen. There's concerns about some kind of disappointments because of this deep, heavy soul searching, needing some time alone to think about this. Okay, so far we can see there's an offer, there's something to do with money and finance, something of value. Someone's like, I need some advice. This, there's an abrupt, sudden situation happening here and an opportunity being presented. I need some time alone to think about this. Now, Three of Pentacles, I feel like some of you guys have more than one choice or option, okay, with the Three of Pentacles energy. Three of Pentacles could also be referring to some kind of creative solution, trying to build something, work together towards a creative solution. Okay, that's on the 13th. We see there's a relationship, there is someone you're connecting with here. And we see overindulgence, lucky, and hopeful energy comes in. Okay, so... There is an opportunity being presented. Money and finance seems to cause some issues here, but we see advice is being gotten or someone's really being supportive and a sudden action is taken towards an opportunity. Lots of soul searching here, hopeful energy, and we see there is a person, Cancer, here on the 14th that's like, I want to hold on to you. I want to treat this in a gentle way and I want to um, stay put. Let's see what that's about. You see there's this argument, this dispute. It's like someone's uh, third person's coming in here to kind of give some kind of advice. This can be something legal here involving money and finance with the Four of Pentacles energy. Okay, let's see what that's about. I feel like I'm going in the right direction. I feel like we're going in the right direction, okay. When it comes to the single and available to pursue, I feel lonely, isolated, and separated. Okay, let's bring it all together. Okay, so money and finance causes some issues. I really want to be nurturing and supportive. Abrupt decisions, sudden actions taken towards this opportunity. I've been thinking about this very deeply, and I'm hopeful to be single and available to pursue. Or, you know, I really feel lonely. I want to get you alone. Or there's been this isolation or separation. Okay. I hear there's birds talking out there, lots of birds talking. So definitely there's a conversation going to be taking place. You're the best decision for me. Text message, letter, document, paperwork, and we see family conflict. We see worry and stress about the right timing here. Is there lying and deceptions or it's something deceptive is causing some kind of confusion? I need to bring spouse. vows. I want to apologize. I want to make the effort because I love you. It has to be safe for us to love. It's massive shock and surprise, and I regret what happened here. Okay, someone's being attacked for this stuck stagnation. You see, there's a love and a relationship, 
and something pertaining to the past that's coming up. It's causing some kind of disappointment. But because there's so much luck here for you guys this week, you're going to have a sense of have some kind of movement and go, you're going to feel like you're going in the right direction towards your destiny. Okay, so there's this distant, far away energy, possibly a two year waiting, far away, distant timing lines. Spend timing together. This is something you're waiting for. There's a relationship here, and we see there's some uh, disputes, arguments, okay? Fighting for this connection. Someone's trying to, um, someone's overseeing this. Okay, that's very interesting. Worries and concerns, and there's a vestment of time. You're the best decision for me when it comes to long-term commitment. There's flirting, there's exploratory energy here, and a new perspective about the situation. When it comes to this third-party situation, we see, I want to hold on to you. I want to find this creative solution to hold on to you for pentacles energy. Don't worry, I'm going to bring it all together, okay? Okay, so let's just see what your love interest feelings are. Okay, so this person feels that you've left them out in the cold or they feel a sense of loss. They're really looking at the memories of the past and renewal of the past and they do feel like you would make them very happy and they're seeing some kind of good signs about that. Your person is like all of a sudden they want to give to uh, some kind of positive turn of events towards starting a family or they may realize that um, the situation, they were naive about it, right? They want to be playful here with the child card energy. We see that there is this memories of the past, this ex-partner and this commitment to engage your marriage, and now they're getting some kind of spiritual confirmation. So let's bring it together here. They feel like there has been some loss that were left out in the cold. And all of a sudden, something about this situation pertaining to the past or the per this infringing party. They're looking at these old memories of the past, the renewal of the past, and they want to receive something of value. They want something to change here when it comes to this commitment. They're seeing these positive signs that they feel like they could be happy here. The Ten of Cups energy. They feel like you guys are spiritually connected. Some of you guys, they want to start a family with you. You may have children with this person. Or uh, they are wanting some kind of positive turn events. This could be a new person for some of you guys. But they are wanting to resolve something from the past energy with a commitment. I know this is going to be a very specific message. Also, I feel like they were uh, left out in the cold because of you reconciling with somebody from the past. And uh, they're hoping that you're happy. Okay, so let's see what the blockage is here. The world card energy. Okay. Okay. Okay, so people are involved with the situation, as we know. Something to do with travel, accomplishment here. Concerns about loss, regrets. Someone who wants to spend some alone time together. Or something about a small meeting, small group of people. Okay, so let's get more information with the overall energy here. Okay, so there's a happy energy coming in for you guys, a joyful, happy energy, living in the moment. Again, we see more, more, more than one person above this because three people in that card. There is some romance happening for you guys this week with the Knight of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. How we see that there is something being accomplished or completed when it comes to family and long term. Okay. Okay, so there's concerns that something about the situation where somebody's giving a lot and maybe the other person isn't giving the same amount with the main person. We see it has to do with a house, a home, a family situation. There's a happiness coming in, but a decision that has to be made about a new love connection or an offer of love, Ace of Cups energy. Going down another layer here. I'm worried and concerned. I wanna get your attention and I'm desperate to get your attention. 
There's been a lot of overanalyzing and slow actions here, which have caused some kind of confusion. I'm very much attracted to you. I have lots of chemistry and passion for you. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. There is strong desires here and a temptation to travel and to have some kind of changes here, but I need to make the best decision here. I don't know where I stand with you, Cancer, but I want to fix this situation and I can't stop thinking about you. The soulmate connection, this relationship has left things at a crossroads and I want to be patient and invest time in this connection and see how things play out. This romance is a happy surprise but I'm isolated, separated, or need to be single and available to pursue her. I want to get you alone. Okay, at a house. Let's keep going. All right, so it seems like somebody's really worried and they're concerned because they don't know where they stand with you and they want your attention and they feel desperate to get it. We see there's something pertaining to marriage, commitment, and someone feels like their hands are tied, like they're trapped in a situation because they're, they're going through something legal here, justice card. We see that there is this want to heal the situation with the main person and to make a power move to assert themselves. Okay, so it looks like, it looks like there's been this distant situation between you and a person um, because of the fact that they are going through some kind of divorce, okay? And, uh, and money and finance has caused some delays in the connection. And also some of you guys are pretty far away from this person or there's been this distance here because of it. But this person is just tired of the distance between you guys and they're gonna assert themselves here because they just have this strong chemistry and passion for you. And they really just wanna know where they stand because they do love you and they're gonna take a romantic gesture here to, um, to uh, let you know that, okay? So, because there's an obsessive energy here to offer love, Ace of Cups energy, and to resolve this, to heal the situation with you. Yeah, they, want, they are letting you know you fulfill their desires. There has been this oppressive kind of energy here because of some kind of decision. Justice can be just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce, okay? So obviously there's some decisions to be made this week with you about this person. But let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my cancers when it comes to the romantic love life for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for that? June 8th to the 14th, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So we see. Okay. So I would say with the caution, energy is saying caution. Um, you have a lot of options. And it's saying don't give up, but assert your personal power. Put your energy behind healing a situation. You can get what you want here. This is a part of your destiny. There is an opportunity that will present itself. When this person says hello again, focus on what's going to truly make you happy. But do some reflecting here and follow your heart. You see an ending of a situation and having fun and not taking things so seriously. Things are gonna come to light for you. You could take a chance here, but you gotta listen to your intuition because there's this family situation going on. And we see you have to stay hopeful because there's gonna be a lot of distractions, a lot of issues, challenges there. So I would say it's giving you a, a choice here. It's saying that yes, you could move forward with this person, but understand it's not gonna come together the way you expect it to, because there's still a lot of things to navigate here. But also you can, or you do have options here. But the bottom line is you wanna do what makes you happy and you want to um, follow your heart. That's the bottom line here. But understand that there is still a lot to navigate when it comes to this person. So there may be some delays around things coming together with your person. So. Uh, it's, it depends on you if you want to stick in there and like, you know, wait for this to play out or if you want to move forward with some of the options you have in front of you. So obviously I'm only here as guidance, guys. You have to make the final decision for what you feel is best for you. So I'd listen to your heart 
pay attention to your intuition and you know what's best for you. I do have the monthlies out to get more information as well as the bi-weeklies as well. And uh, true intentions, true feelings. True intentions, true feelings could help a lot also with really getting understanding of where this person intends to go with this connection. Because yeah, you really do need an understanding to be able to make an informed decision about this. So anyway, my darlings, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. And yes, I do read my comments, so I do love hearing from you guys in the comments below. If this resonates with you, you want to claim this message, or you do feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys another date or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.